happening in the best possible way. In the best in possible the best way. Possible way. I love that. I love that. You in know the, what? Amir Suleiman is a poet. He said, "Freedom is between the zeal of the young and the patience of the old." When I was saying crazy, <laughs> you you came with your perspective. Well, it's thank, a deep thank you for making me dated. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, but you yourself, you said yeah. that you are sixty something. I don't even <laughs> you yourself, you came to say it at a crazy right. <laughs> but anyway, let me remind listeners that if you haven't booked your tickets for any of the Roverman world class plays yet, call zero five zero five five four six zero one zero. That's zero five zero five five four six zero one zero. Or you can WhatsApp zero five zero five five four. 6030 or email tickets at rovermanproductions.com. Food for Thought is also brought to you by Sino Assurance. Insurance, our business. Good morning once again. Yeah, good morning, Dan. I, I had a, a discussion about your birthday. <laughs> Uncle Bo, the small birthday that I'm going to say. Anyone, anyone and Edwin have had me for breakfast. <laughs> Well, that's a very nice breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but it's it's always nice when they get you for a change because you always you always run rings um, around them around right? them. So it's always nice when fair enough <laughs> when when they get you and you don't have anything to say. <laughs> so so um, once again, the festival our festival begins tomorrow. You know when you just say twenty fifth, people say oh it's so far. No, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow with unhappy wives, confused husbands. And then we continue from the 27th to the 30th. And then I end it with a crazy ride on the 1st of January. And there's a reason why we're ending it that way. Because a crazy ride would inspire you beyond measure um, to tackle 2019 like you've never tackled the year before. Then tomorrow is Christmas Day. And so today is a good time to wish... Our listeners, a very Merry Christmas. God willing, I'll get a chance next Monday to wish you a Happy New Year. For now, let me stick to Christmas. So once again, a very Merry Christmas to you. I make it a habit to reread the Christmas story in the Bible every year. And the story gets richer by the year for me. This morning, I want us to focus on a very small aspect of the story as it is recorded by Dr. Luke in his Gospel. We know that the, the angel, Gabriel, came to Mary to announce that she will conceive by the Holy Spirit and give birth to a son who will be called Jesus, the Son of God. This angelic visit, visitation came at least six months after the same angel, Gabriel, had surprised Zachariah, the priest, and the husband of Elizabeth in the temple. So, at the time Gabriel came to Mary, Elizabeth, who should have been too old to conceive, was six months pregnant according to the power of God declared by Gabriel. And when Gabriel came to Mary, the angel found it necessary to use the case of Elizabeth to inspire Mary to believe the message he was bringing her. The angel said, quote, Even Elizabeth, underline that, even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God would ever fail. End of quote. And that is in Luke chapter 1, verses 36 and 37. The phrase, even Elizabeth, has stuck with me. Even Elizabeth. The Elizabeths in life are people whose stories we know and whose situations are worse than our, than, than our own, but have been turned about. The Elizabeths in life are people whose experiences inspire us to hope and not to give up. The Elizabeths in life show us that nothing is impossible with God. Mary was young, much younger than Elizabeth. Indeed, if things had gone the normal way for Elizabeth, she could have had children who were older than Mary. But Elizabeth and her husband had not been permitted to have a normal life, and by the time Gabriel surprised Zachariah in the temple, Everybody had given up on Elizabeth ever having a child, and Mary knew the story very well. What Gabriel sought to do with the statement, even Elizabeth, was to show Mary how an impossible situation had been turned around. If Elizabeth in her old age could conceive, then Mary, conceiving by the Holy Spirit, is not an impossible preposition. If Mary could not believe in a miracle of she conceiving without the agency of a man, 
Then she should consider the miracle of an old woman conceiving when she and her husband were long past their reproductive years. Thank God that we have even Elizabeth cases all around us. These are cases that inspire us never to give up, no matter what our circumstances. When I was in school, we had an even Elizabeth situation when the teacher cited the case of one of the outstanding statesmen Ghana had produced who had failed his matriculation exams a number of times. It took the fear of failure away because it taught us that there could be life beyond failure. And we have an even Elizabeth situation with the cases of Bill Gates and the late Steve Jobs. People who do not have the advantage of university education have looked to the, case, the cases of Bill Gates and Steve Jobs to believe that even without a degree, they can still make something incredible of their lives. The story of Abraham Lincoln gives us another even Elizabeth case. Abraham Lincoln failed so many times in life and, and lost almost every election he contested for, and yet, and yet ended up winning the one election that mattered the most, the election as President of the United States of America. The even Elizabeth case of Abraham Lincoln has inspired not just politicians, but everyone struggling to find his feet in life. On this station, Joy FM, we have our own special even Elizabeth case in the story of the late Kamala Dumont. He came to Joy FM with a failure of medical school behind him and rose to become one of the outstanding regular presenters on BBC World. In my one-man show, A Crazy Ride, many people, including all members of my staff and all members of my theatre group, found an even Elizabeth story. People were blown, up, were blown away that a 64-year-old man could perform with such vitality and enthusiasm at such a high level. And so for those who watch A Crazy Ride, that show of mine has become one of their even Elizabeth cases. Even Elizabeth. We love the inspiring stories of the Elizabeths among us, but have we given thought to what it tastes like to be an Elizabeth? To be an Elizabeth whose story is used to inspire others, you have to endure years of disappointment, years of waiting, years of discouragement. Elizabeth did not set out to be an example of God's power. I'm sure all she wanted was a normal life, to marry, have children like every other woman, and hope to see her grandchildren. But an, an Elizabeth, that is one whose life is meant to be an inspiration, is not permitted to have a normal life. Was it easy for Elizabeth to endure the years of disappointment and possible ridicule from society because she could not give birth? I don't think so. And yet, without the years of anguish and discouragement and disappointment, there is no way Gabriel would have cited her case as a means of encouraging Mary to trust God completely. Joseph in the Old Testament is another even Elizabeth case for me. Sold into slavery by his own brothers, framed up by his master's wife, going to jail for a crime he had not committed, but emerging from jail to become the number two man in Egypt and saving the world and his brothers from starvation and forgiving them as well. But the process of being the Joseph whose story inspires generations was not easy. The point I'm making this morning is that if there are things that are not going the way you had expected or hoped for in your life, don't get discouraged because it is possible that you are being groomed to become the next even Elizabeth story. So take bitterness out of your mind. Cast away the discouragement and the disappointment and hope again, even against all hope. Who knows? Generations may be citing your case, your patient wait on God, your persistence, as their even Elizabeth case. So once again, a very Merry Christmas to all of us. And many happy returns to you. You know, I have an even Elizabeth story. Okay. And um, when, when I was asked to, to sit in this chair, yeah. I didn't think I could do it. Okay. You know, I, was, I was convinced I was not ready. I remember okay. I called one of my mentors and he had to convince me to accept it mm. because I, I felt I wasn't ready. And every single day, I don't know how long I'll be doing this okay. for, but every single day that I sit here, 
is an even Elizabeth day. That's right. Recently, I went to speak at Ashesi University. Mm. Well, I, I helped them in uh, one of the idea festivals. And someone texted me and told me that he read my profile, which I always say to myself is so scanty because, you know, there are people who have master's degrees mm. and you have won awards mm. and there's very little really. And that's the honest to go truth. And I am working on that. And um, he said that he was inspired by the fact that I'm a science student who decided to do this because he has a science background and he wants to enter the media. And at that point, I just felt God tell me in my heart that this is it. This is it. Like, that is it. And I've, if, if I had to bow out in January 2019, I mean, it was... I but think, that's not going to happen. But, well, of course. But I the, mean, the point is that a lot of the things we go through that um, we cry over, um, once you endure, they benefit other people. Yeah. You know, because you become an inspiration. Um, to so many people who can cite um, your case. And I'm happy that um, we have an even Daniel story. <laughs> and even, trust me, if even Daniel could be doing this, yeah. then, then there's, there's, no, there's nothing that you listening <laughs> out there cannot do. Because, I mean, yeah. One, one of these days, Uncle Bo will tell the full story. <laughs> oh, we'll tell the story. We'll tell the full story. All right, then. Uncle Bo, thank you so much for giving You're us welcome. food for thoughts this morning. And um, I've seen a ghost. Yes, <laughs> really? I've practically seen a ghost, not a holy ghost, but that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Max Fuga is head of sales here at the multimedia group. Ma Max knows why I'm saying he's <laughs> to me, he's a ghost. The, but, but, the return of Max Fuga <laughs> <laughs> that could be a good play title. <laughs> Max, uh, happy uh, Merry a Merry Christmas to you. Yes, yes, yes. And um, yeah, happy returns. You've been you've been you've been an a lost boy. <laughs> we'll connect. Yes, definitely, All definitely, right. definitely. Okay. <laughs>